Hello everyone, I'm the Saxy Gamer, and today we're here back for some more Civilization 6 gameplay. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like the past two weeks. I've had a lot of outside of YouTube, you know, general school and uh, work type stuff going on the past two weeks, so I've been quite crammed, but now I finally made it through all that stuff, and I'm ready to produce some more content. So I figured let's get ripping and roaring right back into things with another Let's Play. So I, uh, I had you guys vote on what type of game you wanted to see, and mostly uh, you guys were voting for Diplomacy, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do today. That was the winner. Since Domination was in a close second, that's probably what I'll do for my next game. But I decided, you know, let's not just do any old just diplomatic game. Let's spice things up and play one of the worst leaders in the game. Let's play Tamar. So Tamar is, uh, she's pretty much, she's either a religious or a diplomatic leader that you can play her as. She's pretty bad for just about anything else. She's honestly not even that great at either diplomacy or religion as well because... Her bonuses will give her extra faith after declaring a protector at war, which is not something that I tend to do a lot. Uh, the one good thing that does make her good for diplomacy, though, is that she does get double envoys in city-states that are following her religion, so it can become easy to become the suzerain of a lot of city-states and then obviously get a lot of diplomatic favor. Everything else in her kit is pretty good god-awful. I mean, the, the, the only nice thing now is that she does get a, uh, additional production towards defensive buildings like walls, and she is able to chain together golden ages a little bit better, so hopefully we will be able to do that today. So we're going to go ahead and play her, playing on Deity, and I think for the map type, I think I actually want to play on Pangea, just because I don't want to have to... Or do I want to play on Pangea? Yeah, I think I do. Just because I don't want to have to walk around to go, or to go across the ocean in, in order to be able to... Uh, convert all these city-states. If I can fan find Pangea, that would be great, but I am, I'm really struggling right now. There it is. Do standard map size for the game modes. We are, of course, going to play with the new Barbarian Clans mode. We're not going to play with Dramatic Ages, although some people like to. I think Dramatic Ages is a pain in the butt to play on. We're going to play Heroes and Legends, Monopolies and Corporations, and Secret Societies. And I think with that, we are ready to roll. So let's go ahead and see what type of spawn and stuff we get, and if we can get a good game going as Tamar. All right, so we've gotten our spawn here. It's a pretty interesting one. We do we are next to a volcano. We are also on the coast. We are not on fresh water. We also can't put a harbor right here because there is a reef. So I'm trying to think I might want to do a turn to settle. I don't know which direction I want to go. I think I'm inclined to move right, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the other nice thing is that we do currently have a 3-3 tile, which is spawned right next to us, which is a really good tile to have. I mean, does the harbor adjacency bonus matter that much? I really don't think so. But then again, if we're here, if we're here, we can aqueduct over one. I think we're going to move here and we're going to settle on turn two. Not something I generally like to do, but uh, I, I think it is worthwhile in this case just to be able to actually be able to get the harbor in a good spot here and also be able to put an aqueduct not next to a volcano where it's going to get blown up all the time. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's explore around, see what's around us. As far as our first tech goes, we're going to go for astrology. We want a religion absolutely this game, because if you don't get a religion, then Tamar is even worse than she already is starting out, because you can't get that bonus in city-states that you have converted to your religion. For our first thing, we're just going to build a scout, so that way we can see what's around us a little bit better. We've met a city-state already. We met Hong Kong on turn four, so we will be able to become their suzerain in, in, in all likelihood. Unfortunately, their 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 bonus is okay. I don't think it's particularly great, though. We're not going to be running that many holy site projects this game, so I don't think it's anything super special. Is this a natural wonder? It is. We found the Crater Lake. We would actually like to settle the Crater Lake just because it's got a lot of faith on it. So once our city grows here... Also, how much gold? We absolutely want to buy that tile. I think we're just going to grow to it naturally in four turns, though. So hopefully uh, hopefully we won't have to rush for it too much. We've also met Mahenjadaro, which makes it so that our cities get full housing from water. That is a fairly decent suzerain bonus, especially since we do have coast here that doesn't have fresh water next to it. We also do have this mountain range, which will be helpful for getting us holy site adjacency or possibly campus district adjacencies as well. Let's pick up this goody hut, and we got some new population out of that. I think I am going to finish this builder before I switch to a settler. I see that there also is a barbarian camp that spawned over here, which is the Half Moon Clan. We'll see if we want to do anything with them in terms of diplomacy or anything like that, or if we just want to kill them. Oh, there is another one. There's also the Quiet Fox Clan down here, which is getting beat up by the city-states. I think they're about to be killed, probably. That is one thing I have seen, is that it seems like city-states and AI pretty much always kill the clans whenever you're playing in Barbarians Clans mode. Like, they very rarely just let them be. Which is a little bit funny. Well, actually, you know, as I say that, now, of course, they have let them be. Uh, I think I'm going to kill Quiet Fox, though. Even though I was just laughing about how the AI always does it, I'm going to be the one that does it this time. 
I also just realized I built this builder, but I don't actually have anything to build with it because we don't have any tiles that are that are eligible for that. Okay, so this is a good holy site spot, but we definitely don't have enough gold to put it there is the issue. That's a plus four. I guess that would also be a plus four. This one's next to a volcano, which isn't great, but it's it's worthwhile to get it down early, I think. So we can do two things here. We can either disperse this clan, which will totally get rid of them and give us 10 XP, or we can raid the clan, which gives us 30 gold, and also it makes us that way they lose progress towards becoming a city-state, but they have no progress anyways, so I'm just going to raid them, and I'll let the city-state decide if they want to kill them or not. I think let's also get mining, because we have a lot of hills here, so that way we can put down some tile improvements on some of those. Just like that, they've kicked this out, and they have spawned a new spearman. Got our first policy cards here. We're definitely going to run Discipline. We'll run God King as well for a little bit of extra early faith. And oh, and we found the Void Singers. You do like to see that. So we are definitely going to go for the Void Singers this game, since we are going to be playing partly faith-based, so... Uh, do I want to go with Void Singers? I was thinking of Owls of Minerva as well, because Owls of Minerva aren't, aren't bad for diplomacy, but I, I think I still do want to go the Void Singers. Also, I just realized that I was uh, using the wrong sound thing, so you might you, you uh, might have heard some 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 less game sound in the past little bit, which is which is why I just I just fixed it now, so it, we uh, should be good. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Void Singers for sure, and that allows us to build our old god obelisks as well now. So maybe maybe that's what we'll build next in our capital here. It looks like we have someone down here. I think this is either Scythia or maybe the Congo. It is indeed the Congo. We actually do like to see the Congo because it means they're not gonna have a religion of their own. So there is less regional competition for religions, I guess, and we can spread to them. All right, this time I think let's just disperse the clan. We also found Sanguine Pact and Anansi as well. We have finished our holy site, which gives us a three era score because that was a plus four holy site that we put down. Does anybody else see? Okay, other people do have progress towards great profits. There might be someone like Russia or something. Someone already has four great profit points per turn, which is kind of insane. I think that we're just going to run some holy uh, some holy site prayers to start us off, though, here. Or do I want to get the shrine? No, we probably have time to get a shrine, I think. Let's go, let's, let's go ahead and get the shrine, I think. Congo do have some nice land over here. I would like to be able to, like, settle somewhere around here. We also do need to get a settler out. When you find yourself We're at turn 22 and we have we still have not built a settler yet, which is <laughs> we are definitely a little bit a little bit behind on that one. Yeah, those are some pretty decent spots, I think, so far. We can keep exploring, see if there's even more spots that we want. I guess we could settle this lake rather than on, on the uh, the river over here, but I don't know. We can still get one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We could get even one up here along that lake if we want. This is, uh, like, all in all, this is honestly, like, a, a pretty decent spawn, I'd say. All right, let me take a look over here. So, aside from this other person that's going to get a profit, nobody else is getting profit points, so I think we're okay to build a settler right now. Things might change whenever the era changes and somebody ends up in a golden age, but aside from that, I think I think we're fine. All right, what do we want to go for our pantheon here? Uh, I think I'd want to do a work ethic play, but we don't really have desert or tundra, so I don't think either of these ones are going to be that good for us. We could go earth goddess... With, which Earth Goddess was recently changed again to now it's it's plus one uh, faith from tiles with breathtaking appeal. Wait, wasn't it plus two before? Did it get nerfed even again? Jeez, wow. Poor Earth Goddess. Okay, so Earth Goddess aka is is pretty much just trash now. I don't even know if it's just trash. I kind of want to try it just to see though. <laughs> I just sat here ragging on it for a little bit, but I kind of want to see if it's any good. Fire Goddess may be good just because we have this volcano here, but I don't think we have any yet. We don't have any other volcanoes. Divine Spark is always good. Eugene's also getting in trouble in the background, so if you hear that, that's that's what that's what's going on. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and try Earth Goddess. Once again, I don't really know if it's going to be any good, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to try it. So let's go ahead and and do just that. We still do have we have faith on a few of these tiles, which is nice. We put down some mines as well. Mines are going to be kind of counterproductive now because they are going to remove appeal on surrounding tiles. We also do have some barbarians coming in, so I am going to buy a slinger here. These lads over here from the, the Half Moon clan are are not being nice to us. I see that they, they're spawning quite a few units, I think. We might be able to get the boost to archery here by killing probably this uh, the horse archer that they have there. Found another goodie hut. I hope that there's... but We, we might be on, like, a, a peninsula over here, so maybe there's nobody that's on the other side of us. Okay, we finished our settler, but we absolutely cannot get them out. Let's maybe build an old god obelisk. Yeah, still no other really competition for a religion. Let's declare friendship with the Congo, so that way they don't kill us. 
And that is still a sit uh, settleable spot. I actually might settle that one first, just to kind of secure the land to make sure the Congo don't don't come and starting start to expand towards me too much. What have they burnt? Oh, they pillaged our holy site. That is really bad. Okay, so we really need to clear the barbarians from our home. Because if we don't clear these barbarians, they're going to make it impossible for us to get a religion. Because he's probably going to pillage this again. Yep. Okay. Oh, God. There's so many of them. And we're not really in a good spot to be able to, like, protect ourselves against them. Okay. We got this warrior out. So we're going to send him out with the settler to hopefully be able to settle. Oh, God. This guy's going to take a lot of damage. He is. He has indeed taken a lot of damage. But it's not, it's not too bad in the end, I guess. So a couple of these guys, and we want to get these guys rolling out that way. Definitely want to get archery right now, because we absolutely need it. Oh, there's another barbarian clan. Well, maybe maybe that one. I'll uh, let them become a a city state, because they are they are quite far up there on their own, kind of. So, all right, I want to keep running from these guys for right now. So I can get to. Is there a hill? There is a hill. Or just like until we get to a point like this where we're not going to get attacked by like three of them on the same turn. All right, we finished that. Let's actually, I feel like, now let's finish the Old God Obelisk and then and then we'll get the Settler. Uh, we kind of need to be able to do some Holy Site prayers here now, I think is what we want to do. Other people are starting to generate some great profit points per turn. So we want to make sure we do keep up. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's, 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 let's run a selection of, I don't know why I said a selection. Let's run one thing of Holy Site prayers there. So hopefully... Keep us competitive with whoever this is. They're also making two. It didn't help that, of course, we weren't making any points for a little bit there as the barbarians were killing me. But hopefully we'll be good now. Able to found our second city down here. It is going to be on a minus two loyalty tile, but I don't really think that's that big of a deal. Yeah, it's rebellion in 25 turns. I guess the one thing I didn't think of is that we are probably about to go into another era when Congo's probably going to get a golden age. So let's go ahead and try to get another governor title. We can also become the Susan of Hong Kong already, which is quite nice. So there is more land over there. Wow, there's lots of barbarians that have spawned this game, I feel. I don't know if I'd say more than, like, usual. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm starting to maybe think more than usual, especially especially in this location over here. All right, so one more thing of Holy Sight Prayers will get us our religion. Oh, God. One more turn till archery, and then this will also make this at least a little bit easier to deal with, hopefully. So, Congo. Okay, Congo as well is in a normal age, which makes this a little bit less scary. We are also going to take... I know I just clicked it really fast, but we're taking the thing that gets us two era score each time we convert a city to our religion. Just because we're going to be getting our religion in this era, so it's going to be quite nice for getting us plenty of era score as we convert both our own cities and also the Congos as well. We probably do want to get bronze working. Just because we're having so many barbarian problems right now. I think it's probably a wise idea. We also did get this guy upgraded to an archer, so that's going to help us out a lot. Oh, we are a little low down there. Okay, please die, sir. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got our great prophet, though. We really cannot send him to the, <laughs> the holy site to actually found the religion this turn. But uh, very, very shortly we will be able to. Oh, this guy's maybe dead. I didn't think. Let's run him away a little bit. He is getting dangerously low, and we can now get out our great prophet. I don't know if he... Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, we did lose that warrior down there, which does suck. We're also losing a lot of loyalty down here in whatever, however you pronounce this city. Things are not looking the best for us this game, I must say. <laughs> the barbarians have made this about 30,000 times harder than it originally should have been. And they have pillaged my holy site once again. We absolutely just need to kill this Half Moon Clan over here. All right, we actually can't even. Yeah, let's let's definitely finish this settler. Maybe we'll just come settle this city. I'm pretty sure that if you settle, it'll back over get past. rid of the barbarians that are on the tile. Is this gonna decrease my loyalty? Okay, it doesn't. I I've, I can never remember if that's a thing that only works for captured cities or not. But either way, I think we're gonna get Pingala because Pingala is pretty much always a good governor to have. Plop this guy on the holy site, even though we actually can't found the religion this turn. Okay, you hate to see that. He's also now no longer on the holy site, so we're going to have to wait even more turns to be able to found our religion. Uh, the joys of Civ 6 sometimes. Sometimes I think they're not quite so much joys. For instance, whenever you have 3 billion barbarians coming after you, 
At least we have good Tamar music, though. That is that, that is the one thing that's that's saving my sanity this game. Although I must say, I'm uh, generally not as much of a fan as Tamar's mu or of of Tamar's music as as some other people are. I feel I feel like a lot of people really like Tamar's music, but like I think I think it's all right. Switch off of craftsmanship because we will definitely be able to just boost it here in like a second or two. Once we actually are able to get some of these tiles that we grow to, I think let's go settle. I would like to settle this city next so that way we can just buy the tile and get rid of that camp. We do have a catastrophic eruption as well, which has broken the holy site, which we have just fixed yet again. <laughs> I feel like the holy site has been down more than it's been up this game. Maybe not, though. That may be a slight exaggeration. But probably not that ridiculous of an exaggeration, honestly. We're almost getting to the point where we actually be able to found a religion next turn. Maybe the volcano will explode yet again. And we will not be able to found one. So that's obviously a good campus spot as well. We definitely should put a campus there. Alright, I think we do want to get masonry because we are Tamar. So we, of course, have to follow the Tamar stereotype of building walls. And there we go. We can finally found our religion out here. Plus three holy site right there. It's not bad. I think that's probably where we want to put it. Unless there's an empty spot in there, which I don't believe that there is. Don't really want to purchase a tile to try to find out either. Yeah, let's just go for the plus three right here. And we, of course, going are going to go with Snippy. Snippy. Work ethic is available as well. Let me make sure that that's what I want to get. I don't really think any of this other stuff is that great. Work ethic is just generally pretty good. Divine Inspiration is okay, but I don't think we're going to be able to get that many wonders. Reliquaries is also sometimes nice. Yeah, I definitely think we just want work ethic. I think we definitely want to get the Pagodas for the one Diplomatic Favor per turn, because that's obviously going to be playing right into what we want to go for for Diplomatic Victory. So that's what we'll found as our original beliefs. We're not really going to be able to make use of the Pagodas for a little bit until we get Theology, or what is it? Yeah, I think it's Theology, or is it Theocracy? Or is Theocracy the government type? I think Theocracy is the government type, so... Either way, we're going to have to wait a little bit for the Pagodas, but in, in, in due time, they will uh, they will help us out quite a bit. We can found this third city finally as well, and probably clear the Barbarians. Oh, we can actually clear them this turn. We're definitely going to get rid of them, because I'm tired of them harassing me this entire game. Now we just want to focus on getting Settlers out, so that way we're able to go ahead and get... Uh, oh my god, there's another one. The Three Sails <laughs> clan that is spawned down there. But that way we're able to make use of all this, this free land that we have around here. Oh, don't you dare take my goody hut. He's probably going to do it. I would imagine he will. Oh, I forgot to clear the camp also. Oh, he took my goody hut. And now, the, now there's a new barbarian that spawned in the camp. Darn it. Alright, let's disperse this clan. Please get out of here. For the love of all that is holy. Do we have irrigation? Maybe let's actually get irrigation. Let's improve these spices. I don't think we really need the iron that much. I don't really plan on doing anything militaristic this game. Also, let's go ahead and buy a missionary. That way we can... Spread our religion to our own cities, at least. Ah, well, that's probably the source of Catholicism. Yadviga. Oh my god, I just realized how much of a military the Congo have. They have got they've got quite a few. They're also building the Colosseum already. We are very far behind in science and culture per turn. Which, you know, isn't the best. But whenever you play a religious game or a diplomatic game, it doesn't really... It doesn't really matter that much, actually, as to what your science and culture yields are. The only thing it really matters for is building wonders. Because, I mean, obviously getting something like Mahabodhi Temple is going to be really, really good. But aside from that, you really don't need that much. I mean, I guess, you know, Statue of Liberty is also really good. I don't know why I enunciated it like that. Statue of Liberty. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty. As a true American. Hmm, I wonder if we'll have a Spice Monopoly. I would bet probably not. We don't have that many sources. They have what? They at least have one. We only have two. Got two gypsum, one silver. Thousands have There's lived a lot of sea resources around here. I feel. I feel like this is more than I normally see. Maybe not. So we could. Um, actually, no. We really can't change this up too much. I was gonna say we could settle there and then get one on this coast, but we really can't do that because then we'd have to move this one as well, and we have to move it like down there. But we could probably get one along the coast over here. Maybe like out here. And let's definitely get masonry. We also, we need to change up our policy cards. We want to run the extra production towards settlers. So I'm actually even, I'm going to switch off of producing a settler right now in favor of something else until I put that policy card in. Also put down a, a plantation over here. Which 
will allow us to change said policy cards. And I think we probably do want to get a Goge just to be able to maybe build some military units to help deal with all of these barbarians that are spawning. Converting all of our cities to snippy snippy. And I do want to go and convert at least some of the Congo cities. I definitely should convert Hong Kong as well because that'll give us the double envoys, which we, we do quite want. We are definitely going to get... Oh, okay. Wow. Did that Quadrium do that much damage, really? We're going to disperse the clan. We might lose our scout as a result, but at least the clan is gone. So Mahenjadara, we also do want to prioritize in converting. Yeah, wow. That Barbarian Quadrium hits really hard. The poets have been, myster the poets have been mysteriously silent. On the subject of cheese. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is another reef uh, settle. <laughs> we could move over one, I guess. Right? I think we have the freedom to be able to move over one. We could aqueduct to there. But that we can also still get an okay harbor if it's out here. I mean, I guess if we settled there, it would be a plus four. Oh, is that worth it? I think that probably is worth it. Let's do that. I like that idea better. Let's also get Celestial Navigation, because we do need harbors in several of these cities. Oh, we actually should... Let's prioritize Theology. Because we do, we do want to get Mahabodhi Temple, if possible. Got our first trader. Guess we'll just set it... Let's send it to maybe Mahenjadaro. Trade with some of these city-states. Let's finish the Settler now. We get Theology in eight turns. And let's see. Yeah, let's try to convert the Congo a little bit. He'll be he'll be he'll be kind of happy about that if we do. Found at another city this time in the view of Crater Lake. We only have eight turns till the next era. I don't know if we're gonna be able to hit a Golden Age. I'm gonna get another missionary here. We're getting close to being able to hit the Golden Age, so this will give us an additional two. We still need to scrape up six era score somehow. Wait, I forget. Will this give us era score? Well, thousand year flood happened again. Okay, no. Yeah, that's right, because this one was only a plus three, right? It wasn't a plus four. Well, we still just want to spam settlers pretty much everywhere. They got converted. Let's try to convert this city over here. Or we could try to convert one of these. We only have one more spread charge, though. Rostavi is now following, so we still need to scrape up six era score in five turns somehow. I think the likelihood of that happening is probably not that great. Can we purchase a shrine? Oh, no, we can't. We're, we're still a good bit of gold short. And that didn't successfully convert to Snippy Snippy as well. Which means probably no Golden Age for us. Uh, it is kind of sad, though. I kind of did want to get the Golden Age. So I'm pretty sure we could get the Harbor one that would give us science from our harbors. Which, I mean, it's not insanely good, but it definitely is good for giving you, like, a little bit of a... I, I mean, I, I guess it's the mid-game. A bit of a mid-game boost. So we absolutely want Mahabodhi Temple. We need to build a temple itself, though, first. Get state workforce as well for the extra governor title. We should probably be putting... Yeah, we definitely should be putting holy sites around... Whatchamacallit over here? I think maybe we'll do one here. I think we'll maybe do holy site, holy site, and then maybe an aqueduct. That seems pretty good to me. Alright, let's try to become the suzerain of Mahenjadaro as well. Let's also try to convert Mahenjadaro. I don't know where Yadviga is. She's definitely south somewhere. Oh, there's another city-state down here as well. It's Nanmadal. Nanmadal as well is not that bad because they give you the, uh, yeah, districts on coast or lake give culture. Which, I think that this do, that, that these ones do count as lake tiles if they're next to Crater Lake, so those ones will be able to give us culture if we become their suzerain. We have another catastrophic eruption over here. That is, oh my god, it has obliterated the holy site. It is equally important. It's also gotten rid of a lot of the faith yields because it got rid of the woods. Man, we're not getting the best luck this game, are we? I think we still do want Exodus of the Evangelist, though. It actually looks like the Congo might be trying to get rid of them. Okay, so we can also get Chorus on Void Singers, which is good. It'll help our, our science and culture yields. We're really not making that much faith per turn, though, right now. We only have 16 means we'll get, what, like, two extra science and culture? <laughs> I mean, it's better than zero, but, you know, it's obviously not that great. We do have 42 Diplo favor, so we should be able to influence this vote quite a bit. Let's maybe vote for ranged. Oh, God, this one is impossible to predict, though. No, no luxuries almost always wins, I think. This one is, it's borderline impossible to be able to, to gauge which one is going to, to win this, just because there's so many options here. 
Let's vote for maybe no... Gypsum. I know we have gypsum, so that sounds kind of counterintuitive, but... I'm just kind of throwing any guess at the wall. Oh, it was Mercury, dude. I was even... I was thinking about Mercury as well, but then I decided against it. Wait, oh, we actually lost both of these. That's really bad. Sorry about that, I am back. Hannah called me and asked me if I wanted Starbucks, and of course I can't say no to a nice uh, sugary drink whenever I'm sitting here playing some Civ, so now I'm, I'm all cozied in here with Big Jean and uh, some hot chocolate as well, so what do you say let's go ahead and get back to playing some Civ, so we're about to found this city over here, so let's go ahead and do just that. We now have found a Batumi. How many more settlers do we need? We need at least one, two, three, we have one in production, so we still got a few more to go. That's right, yeah, this, uh, we were about to build... We're trying to build Mahabodhi Temple, but we are getting ravaged by this volcano here that is still active. And Eugene is also walking around trying to ravage my workspace. We're offered gypsum. I don't think we want to take that deal, actually. Just because we, are, we already have two gypsum in our land. The unfortunate thing is that we didn't win any of those sessions of the year. We didn't win either of the votes for the World Congress in the, the past session, which means we're going to be behind in terms of our progress towards a diplomatic victory. So somebody, uh, a few people got two. We were one of the only people that didn't win either of the votes, which is really unfortunate. It is actually really important to get those early wins in the uh, the World Congress because, you know, that, that adds up because the next vote's going to be in 30 turns. So we've effectively lost 30 turns worth of progress by winning zero votes there, which is really, really quite bad. Let's go ahead and finish the temple here. Um, let's go ahead and get currency. Probably will take military tradition just because we have the boost. And for our first government, I think we're going to go Classical Republic here. So these were rebalanced a little bit in the latest patch, but I don't think that there are really any major significant changes. It's just been some some minor things, minor change-ups with the policy cards, things like that. The other thing is that Monarchy does now give two diplomatic favor for every Renaissance wall. Since we are playing Tamar, we are definitely going to go for that. So that's another thing that I didn't mention at the start whenever I was talking about why I wanted to play Tamar. So... Because of that change, it now means that we get diplomatic favor from our walls themselves and also from monarchy. So that's going to add up quite a bit. So let's let's uh, maybe see if that's any good. And I think this is what we're going to run for our policy cards. We want scripture for, since we have work ethic especially. I don't necessarily know if we need a gauche, but it's not bad to have. We probably should produce a few archers or something like that just in case. I don't think anybody's going to attack us this game because we are friends with both people, but... You never know. Or if any more barbarians creep up. It looks like this one up here. So this one is leveling up to become a city-state. It says, wait, uh, 20 plus turns still. So we could uh, do any of this stuff, but I don't think that we really need to do anything. So we could give them gold to prevent them from attacking us, which gets them even closer to becoming a city-state. But I don't think we really need to just yet. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Tamar Let's Play. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you're looking for some more Civilization 6 content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.